Oh, man, I'm cranky tonight. <laughs> What happens is, whenever I do this, I get cranky. Before I come out, I have to, you know, I have to wait until it's time to go on, you know, in your region. So I wait out there. <laughs> By the way, time to go on in your region is the name of a movie I'm thinking about. <laughs> thinking about seeing. Anyway, I, so I sit out there and I, you know, I do what you do when you're waiting, like at the doctor's office or the dentist's or the, you know, small dungeon type basement. I. Uh, I read uh, the tabloids. There's the tabloids there, and I'm looking at the tabloids. And uh, I was looking at Us Weekly, and it just drives me crazy. I, it makes me mad. I don't know why. And I was reading about uh, somebody, uh, someone, a uh, dude uh, called uh, Lady Gaga. And, um, <laughs> and I realized that, that this is not for me. You know, that Lady Gaga you know, isn't saying, how do I get the 49-year-old white male market? That's what I'm looking for. But... <laughs> So I'm looking at it, and, and there's all this upbeat, and I realize I'm getting bitter and twisted in my old age because the message is very good and strong and positive. It was like, you know, love yourself, love who you are. And I'm thinking, oh, really? Because <laughs> I'm Scottish, we don't do that. We do, we do be tough on yourself and try and improve things. <laughs> And then, uh, but I think, I think Lady Gaga's right, actually. I think you should probably love yourself and love who you are, but I'm incapable of that. <laughs> so I'm just going to stay hating myself <laughs> and be angry about it. <laughs> and it feels kind of comfortable. <laughs> so for all of you that feel self-loathing tonight, me too. <laughs> And then when you hear people saying, I'm great, then and you think, ah, what's that coming to go? Well, <laughs> I'm with you. You're my people. We'll be right back. The Late Late Show with Craig Ferguson. Sponsored by Expedia, where you book matters. Stop your endless cheering and applause. Oh, for goodness sake, calm down. <laughs> it's a great day for America, everybody. <laughs> yes, it is a great day for America, but it is yet another bad day for Osama bin Laden. He's having a terrible week. First of all, Sunday he was killed, and then uh, yesterday his computer was confiscated, and now the Final insult, Elizabeth Hasselbeck of The View is writing a book about him. That's true. I mean, how bad can it get? Elizabeth uh, says she wants to write a children's book to explain to children what happened, you know, with Osama bin Laden. She hasn't settled on a, a title yet. I have some suggestions. The, the cat in the fatwa. Horton hears a helicopter. <laughs> What, what about, very simply, goodnight douche? But, the, uh, there's very, there's more big news out of New York City this week. After a long search, they've selected the cab of the future. That's right, New York City is getting new, new taxi cabs. And I'm going to talk about that, because it's a light news week this week, apparently. <laughs> the biggest story of the decade! Yeah, but New York's getting new cabs! Yeah. Well, 
it's Wednesday, but this time you just want to talk about something else. Anyway, the new cabs in New York are not like uh, Crown Vicks. They're more of a kind of boxy minivan thing. Do we have a, you have a look at it? There it is. <laughs> Hooray! How awesome is that going to be? <laughs> and the idea of New York filled with those things is kind of depressing. It's like soccer moms take Manhattan. <laughs> Which is the name of a movie I'm about to start writing. <laughs> Soccer moms take Manhattan. <laughs> anyway, the new uh, cabs are described as comfortable, accessible and green, which is the same words Al Gore uses to sell himself on Craigslist. <laughs> Anyway, don't worry, the old New York uh, taxis won't disappear immediately. They will be slowly phased out over the next few years like CBS news anchors. Just very gently. <laughs> anyway, the new cab supposedly has an improved ventilation system to get rid of the infamous, infamous cab smell. Did I say infamous? Infamous. <laughs> the infinite cab smell. <laughs> No, to get rid of the smell, and you know the smell I'm talking about, and they're getting rid of it, which is an outrage. I like that cab smell. I like it. I get into a cab in New York, I'm like, ah, Broadway. That's one of the things that makes New York City great, that cab smell. Cab smell, pizza, uh, and cab smell pizza. Which is the name of the pizza that you find in a cab. I think the cab smell is actually caused by those magic tree air fresheners. That's what it is. They're not magic at all. They're not! They can't grant wishes. <laughs> oh, magic tree, magic tree, can you make my cab smell like pee? Yes. <laughs> they just make it worse. Instead of the cab smelling like urine, it smells like piney fresh urine. <laughs> Broadway. <laughs> anyway, for the sake of the environment, though, it's, it's good that these new cabs are hybrids. You just plug them in for a couple of hours, and then they're off and running. New York already uses the same technology to power Regis Philbin. <laughs> The new cabs also have those uh, little TV monitors in them, which I actually hate. This is a true story. I was in New York last year, and I get into a cab. No, stay there, I'll tell you. I get, I get into a cab. No, I want to go. No, stay there. Stay right there. And put the lotion in the basket. Stay right there. Anyway, last year I got in uh, New York, and uh, we got in a cab in New York, and I saw these little TV screens, and there was a promo of this show. <laughs> and it was me, I was watching me dancing around all open the lotion in the basket and everything. And I was like, oh, that's, oh God, it, I, 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 it's annoying. So I said to the cabbie, will you turn it off? And he did, and he said, I don't like him either. <laughs> <laughs> I said, really? You don't like him? I went, oh, no, I don't like him at all. Oh, that cheeky monkeys, I don't like all of that. I, he said, I prefer George Lopez. <laughs> that wacky Mexican talks so funny. <laughs> I was like, you know what? I think I prefer George Lopez, too. And I do, hi, George, how you doing? I haven't seen you in a while. <laughs> What's up, man? <laughs> Anyway, I used to live in New York, you know, and if you're really drunk, the cab drivers won't, uh, won't give you a ride. That's why when I was uh, drunk in New York, I always rode around in my motorcycle. CBS cares. <laughs> it's true. Once I was drunk on a motorcycle in New York, this is true, stay right there, stay, I'll tell you, I'll put a lotion in the basket. But I... I got, I got in an accident once when I was on a motorbike in New York. It was just when I moved there from Britain. And, you know, I was drunk and I fell off and the cop came over and he goes, where's your license? And I only had a British driver's license. So I brought out and it unfolded like a map, like that. And it's like, it's got a picture of Hogwarts on it and all that. And like bats and belfries. And, uh, the Queen lets it be known that this here subject may drive a motor vehicle. And, uh, and the cop looked at it and went, Oh, get out of here. So here's a tip for aspiring criminals. When you commit a crime, make it a bureaucratic nightmare for the arresting officer, and they'll probably let you go. 
CBS Cares. It's commercial break time, Jeff. Time to pay the phone sex bill. I don't think there is that phone sex anymore, is it? It's all internet sex now. It used to be the good old days there was phone sex. But you don't get that anymore. one 900 love machine <laughs> yeah I used to dial that all the time one one nine hundred love machine Boeing goes the robot yeah all right we'll take a break we'll be right back everybody Taxi cabs, you know the when you and I always wanted to be on that show. You remember that show, Taxi Cab Confessions? I always wanted to be on that show. I always think that I am. Whenever I'm in a cab, I imagine that I'm in Taxi Cab Confessions and I have sex in the back of the cab. <laughs> in case there are cameras. Even if I'm on my own. <laughs> oh, magic tree, magic tree. <laughs> what time is it, Jeffrey Peterson? Oh, really? Time to read tweets while I say bulls. Yeah. <laughs> bulls. All right, there you go. From, uh, this is from Brian in Perrytown in Texas. <laughs> I'm tired of doing that. You know. So I'm doing this now. I'm putting a, you got to find it. You get a camera somewhere and, and look at it, then you can look at it. And otherwise, you'll just have to take my word for it. This is from Brian in Perrytown, Texas. Uh, it says, Dear Craig, my sister got a bad haircut. How do I tell her this without hurting her feelings? You could say, um, Hey! Your head looks thin. <laughs> you know what you should do? You should go up to her and look at her hair and say, you should love yourself. <laughs> She'll get the hint. Uh, this is from Adam in Inwood in uh, Iowa. Uh, so, Dear Craig, I'm planning to propose to my girlfriend of five years. Any ideas on the method I should use to pop the question? Pop it. <laughs> yeah, there was a guy I knew, this is true, a, a writer. Uh, I can't tell you his name for legal reasons. But uh, he proposed to his girlfriend. <laughs> because They'd been together a long time and they were on vacation. And he said, look, honey, I know this is disgusting, but I think I've got a boil in my ass. <laughs> And he made her, made her look and check, and inside there was a ring. <laughs> it's a true story. Yeah, they didn't get married. Uh, this is from uh, Olivia in uh, Avon in Connecticut. Uh, she says, hey, Craig, at a movie theater, which armrest is mine? How do I make sure my neighbors know this? You can have both of them if you go, I love this movie. I'm happy to be here. I'm just looking for friends. <laughs> you get the whole I got a map. Throw to yourself. All right. Uh, this is from Tammy in Boston, uh, who says, uh, Craig, I just turned 16 today and I'm taking driving lessons next week. What's the most important thing I should remember? Uh, the keys. <laughs> this is from Margo in Midland in uh, Michigan. I don't know if you can tell from this photograph, but Margo is a finch. <laughs> 
Is that a, is that a, is that a finch or a tootsie fruitsie? <laughs> That's a legitimate question. Are you going to beep it anyway? You know what? Not sure yet. You're not sure yet? All right. Is that a finch or a cock? There. You going to beep that? Hey, let me do it again. Let me do it again. Let me do it. Is that... <laughs> This is from Margo in Midland, uh, Michigan, who says, uh, Craig, I'm stressing out. I will be 40 this month, and my birthday is on Friday the 13th. Is this a bad omen? Oh, yes. <laughs> oh. And there's nothing you can do. <laughs> there, that make you feel better? <laughs> This is from Jesse in Cary, North, uh, or Cary, North Carolina, uh, who says, Dear Craig, I need, to, I need a present for an ex-roommate's wedding. What gift says, congrats, but I still kind of hate you? <laughs> Very simple, a magic tree. <laughs> this is from Glenn in Norman, Oklahoma. Dear Craig, my girlfriend complains that I don't change my sheets often enough. I change them every two weeks. That's not too bad, right? <laughs> Glenn, that's Crikey. disgusting. <laughs> Particularly as I suspect you're a dude. <laughs> a dude who lives in Norman, Oklahoma. My guess is you sometimes have to walk to places and you wear clothes and you get a little hot and sweaty. Whew, I turned myself on a little bit there. Uh, this is from Brandon in Montreal, Quebec. He says, Dear Craig, I'm the one person in Montreal that doesn't like to speak French. Is that wrong? Oui. <laughs> This is from Blair in Gilbert, Arizona. Who says, Dear Craig, my girlfriend and I had sex last night during your show. Oh, <laughs> I'm right here! She's, she later said it was the best we ever had. Oh, man. Would you be interested in making it a group effort? Yeah. <laughs> we'll be right back, everybody. We'll be right back. I look a little breathless, but during the break I was living la vida loca. <laughs> That's the music we listen to during the break, but we can't listen to it when you come back because CBS would have to pay money and they don't like to do that. <laughs> Exhibit A. My uh, first guest tonight is actually, I feel much better now because he's one of my favorite guests ever on this show or even in my house. <laughs> His book, Role Models, is now available in paperback. Please welcome the lovely John Waters, everybody. John Waters. La, 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 la. Hello, John. How are you? I'm good. Well, I was a bit cranky earlier on, but I think I'm easing up a bit good, now, good, now that good. you're here. I feel a little more comfortable Good, somehow. good, good. I, I'm, I very much like your jacket. Thank you. It's, you know, you have to have things for funerals. Yeah, well, I mean... <laughs> It's, it's it lovely, is. Though. It's, it's skulls and flowers. Skulls so and flowers. It's and they kind of mix together in a yeah. lovely... You have to be festive. I, I don't mind funerals, actually. Um, really? Well, I, I'm sorry the person died, but um, uh, sometimes I always want to go to funerals where I didn't know the people, because it's kind of interesting to watch. And I want to give you a warning, because Mother's Day is, is this week, and people yes. bring flowers to the graveyards. And I have a friend who told me a shocking story recently, that when he was young, he used to go to graveyards on Mother's Day, and when people took the flowers 
course, he would steal their pocketbooks. So that's terrible. That is awful. I know. That's bad karma. That right? is that's awful. Yeah. But Divine used to steal the flowers the day after Mother's Day for parties. That's okay. That's fine. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. Fine. The day after is fine. Yeah, because poor people have dinner parties too, and they need, you know, Wait, to no, celebrate. they don't. Yes, they do. No, they don't. People don't. We did when we didn't have any money. Well, we no, stole we... the food. <laughs> Lovely. Where did you steal it? Yeah. Oh. oh, by the way, did yeah. you watch the royal wedding? Were you interested? I did. I did. I did. Yeah. I. I'm for it. I'm not against it. Um, I found myself for it too. And what I'm would not... you wear though? How can you compete with those hats? How can oh. men compete really uh, with those outfits? Well, you got. You have your. You have to have your business uh, hanging out. If or I. Yeah. If, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, if, if I had gone to that wedding, yeah. I would have had a very conservative suit, but inside would be all lined with rat fur. And uh, because, did I tell you about the rats I found that were living in the motor of my car, eating the motor? Yeah, it, the car was... Was the start. car still running? Yeah, well, here's what happened. It finally didn't, so I took it to the garage, and they said, well, you had a whole herd of mice living in there, so I guess when I went to the store, we we're going out! <laughs> Yeah. Did they open up and go, well, there's well, a yeah. problem. No, yeah, they had well, eaten all the tubes. That happens. I know someone else it happened to. Mice in your car? Yeah, they like the warm in the winter, and they get in there, and they eat the glue and stuff, and then they got in my outdoor air conditioning things, and thank God when we had our spring cleanup, they looked. Otherwise, I would have turned it on. They would have been all over the house. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You have to be careful. How did, yeah. that, how did you get to that from the royal wedding? I asked you if you liked the royal wedding. Yeah. You started talking to me yeah. about because, rats in your car. Because you were talking about outfits. You know, what would you wear oh, to right, the royal yeah. wedding? Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah, 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 and, yeah. And you watched the royal wedding. I was all for it. I, it was fine. They do it well. We couldn't do it in this country. Who? I mean, Jackie Kennedy was the last person mm, that actually... Yeah, yeah. Who could we have today, really? Well, the Kardashians, I guess. Well, yeah. yeah. We could have a low-rent version. Yeah, yeah, but, I know, uh, yeah. In a go-kart, they'd leave. <laughs> No, I'd rather like to. I, 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 for the first time in a lot, I watched a little bit of it, just the highlights, yeah. you know, on ESPN, and I, I watched it, and I, <coughs> I, I thought, oh, they look like a charming young couple. Yeah. They don't, and Elton John was there, God yeah. bless him. Yeah. He's lovely, yeah. But uh, talk about a news story that's old all of a sudden. Yeah. I mean, that oh, got blown. I, I bet she's happy. I bet they're both happy. They, well, they did the thing, then, then the, the, it happened. Osama, and then it's yeah, over. yeah, yeah. I mean, did, uh, did, you, uh, did you follow that? Of course all? I are did. You, yeah. Are you aware of what's been going on? Yes, I follow it very, very much. Well, my mother said to me yesterday, did you hear the news? I said, yes, it was three days ago. Yeah, I'm alive. <laughs> yes, I heard it. But uh, I don't get why we don't go to Africa and get that guy that thinks all gay people should be and get the death penalty. While we're at it, let's go get a couple of them. All right. Yeah. 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 Why not? Yeah. Why not? While you're on a roll, but, I suppose. Aren't you still worrying about, wondering about this burial at sea? What sea? Did they ever say what sea? No, I, I don't. I don't know what sea. Was well, it Ocean City, Maryland, or no, something? Did they no. take him away? I no, mean, no. It would be the nearest. Uh, there isn't a lot of water around there, is there? Uh, is there? I don't know. Do we have a I don't map know. of the region? I don't know. They never said <laughs> no. where it was because somebody might go fishing. I don't know. Well, yeah. I don't know. I mean, is that? I don't, why would they bury him at sea just to get rid of the body quickly or something? Is I that like a mafia thing? Like a, you didn't well, see they nothing. Don't and then, uh, <laughs> yeah, I, they don't want it to be like Jim Morrison's grave in Paris. Oh, I see yeah. what you mean. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like have you ever been there? Yeah, I have. It's great. It's kind of nice. Yeah, isn't yeah, it's great. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah I, I do like a graveyard. For do you life. have a grave plot? Uh, I do not. Uh, well, uh, other than what you see at the moment. <laughs> Do you? Do you? Yeah, have, I do. I do. do you, your grave is picked out. Oh you know? yeah, like where divine is, we're all being buried same place. We call it disgrace land. But um, <laughs> but I want somebody to steal my grave. Then you're really famous. Steal your body. That happened to Charlie Chaplin. Oh really? After oh, that he was, was John buried. Barrymore. Well, it? no, it's Charlie Chaplin. I think really? so. You're really famous if someone steals your gra body from the grave and then holds it hostage. Well, I have had. I've had what do you care? You're dead. <laughs> Well, yeah, I guess. I, I mean, know. I've had I've had my body stolen on a couple of evenings, but it's not been not been anything I couldn't get back. Do you worry about mortality? I think you have a pretty good life while you're here, and, and right. that's it. And what you leave behind is what you leave behind. And uh, I certainly don't believe in that you hell or heaven. Really, I think right. that's hard to believe in because it's too cut and dry. I mean, hell, you get used to hot weather, and um, and, and and heaven sounds kind of boring, really. <laughs> I look forward to your letters. <laughs> uh, I want to go to Limbo, but oh. they don't have that anymore. Oh, no, yeah. how low can you go? No, Limbo. Oh, I know what you mean. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, 
uh, we haven't talked about the book very yeah. quickly. Um, I read this. Oh, thank you. Yeah, I read it. When I it read was, yours too. Oh, did you really? I, I read yours when it was in a hardback. Yes, yes, yeah. yes. But is it the same book as in? It's in the same book except it has nice quotes on the front and stuff. Oh. You know, which is oh, very well, nice. everyone yeah. that enjoyed the book. Yes, yes. So we I didn't, enjoyed we this didn't book. Put in, and it's doing great on e-books too. But I wonder about e-books and everything. You know how they used to burn books? Has anybody burned a Kindle no, no, yet? No, no, you delete. <laughs> you yeah. just delete them. Yeah, but how can you like have a big bonfire of banned Kindles? It's, you know, it's going to be tricky. Really? Yeah, yeah, it's definitely going to be tricky. We're going to have to figure out what to do. Well, luckily yeah. you're still bringing out paperbacks, so they're going to be fine with this. But the, but the, uh, but the idea. Idea of, of I don't know what were you doing? I don't Delete know. Them? I mean, smash them up. I don't know. Maybe, maybe that would be. I haven't seen a censor yet come out and say we must destroy. You. How can they? They got to <laughs> figure out how to do it. Hey, um, have you let your mom read this book? Yet? No, still not. No, yeah, no, yeah. no. I'm going I, there for Mother's Day. Yeah, I, 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 I read this book, yeah. and you mustn't let your mom read. I know. <laughs> Some of it she'd be all right with it. Some of it she would. Yeah, most some of the conjunctions, not. but very few of the verbs <laughs> yeah, are yeah, nouns. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Especially the verbs. <laughs> yeah, the ver there's a lot of verbs in here. She's going to have a lot of trouble with. <laughs> Um, well, we're out of time, John. Um, do you fancy a mouth organ or awkward pause this evening? You've um, uh, always a mouth organ. You've asked me that yes, before. I but how can I, 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 I choose I like, otherwise? I like to give you the option. You know. <laughs> there you go. Have you been practicing at all? No. Okay. Yeah. Uh, do you want how do you me? even do this? Well, this is it's very tricky. See, you yeah. can't open it either. Right yeah. No, I can't. Okay. There you go. It's wrapped for your oh, convenience. Oh God! Yeah. You have to unwrap the whole thing. Yeah. There you go. This side, right? Yeah, you know how to blow it. Come Is on. It muddy water. <laughs> muddy waters. I'm not. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Real funny. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right. You ready? Yep. Uh, what, what was it? S slow or fast? The soulful or uh, upbeat? What do you want? Upbeat. Upbeat. You ready? Yep. yep. One, two, one, two, three, four. <laughs> Back to the show. My next guest is an actress. Craig, this is groundbreaking on a late night television show. I'm gonna try it. <laughs> it's a very lovely actress. She stars in NCIS, which airs Tuesdays at 8 on CBS. <laughs> Take a look at this. <laughs> the lovely Polly Perez, everybody. Polly Perez. I haven't seen you in ages. I've missed you so much. You've been so busy on that show doing that thing with the solving crimes using cookies. The thing and the, and the stuff and, and all the rest of the stuff. Yes. Very busy. Uh, you're, you're a little busy too. You have a full No, time no, time. I'm pretty much here every day just doing this crap. <laughs> We love your crap. No. We I, do. I don't know. I, I can't. I, did you get a new tattoo on your finger? Uh, I have I, don't, I have a lot. I've lost track, maybe, yeah. since I was here last. Yeah. Yeah, you've got No, lot. you censored this one last time. Did I? Oh, because uh -huh. you turned the finger I the did. wrong way around. Yes. That's right. Yeah. Yes. Oh. That's my band logo, and I showed it to you, like, without all five fingers. Oh, yeah, no, you and mustn't do that. you guys censored me. No, yeah, no, we get censored. You. Watch this. They'll go crazy when, when it, I, they censor me all the time. Watch this. Uh-oh. Well, look, see that? They censored them. And they can do it instantaneously. Uh, but I just, it was just like a small little finger tattoo. That was all. It's a smiley face. Yeah, I know. It's nice. Uh, and that's your band logo. How's your band doing? Are you still, um... Yeah, we're in the studio. It's Stop Making Friends. It's amazing. I'm, st I'm on hiatus. I'm going to finish my record. Can't wait. And then I'm also doing, we had a song came out uh, yesterday on iTunes with a collaboration I did with an artist named B. Taylor. It's called Fire in Your Eyes. And I just did a collaboration with DMC from One DMC. So it's... All right. Yeah. Yeah. Anything else you want to talk about? We'll just think of it as, as the uh, home shopping network. That's Anything a, else you want to do? That's a crazy mug. Oh, it says censored right here on the bottom. Yeah, I drew a penis on the bottom. <laughs> I'm a child, you know. I, I, I like Somebody gave me a pen and I went, oh, and I drew a penis on the bottom, CBS. <laughs> you said penis. <laughs> Censored. Yeah. No, it's a don't, watch, don't spill it on me. Are you really drinking stuff or are you just acting? No act. There's no acting here. 
this is not one of your fancy shows, lady. Remember, it's us here, Polly. I always wondered, your name sounds a bit like a mafia name, you know that? Polly. I get that. I Do get you really? that. Yeah, they're like, yo, Polly. And I'm like, yeah, I've never heard that before. <laughs> No, yeah, but, but you know, well, the first part, maybe. The last part, I think, is, like, Tourette doesn't say, French. Well, that's, that's a, a Tourette, what, is, is that French? Well, I think so, but as far as I heard, I'm not actually French. I'm actually Native American, and then a lot of Native Americans end up with French names, so I hear. But yeah. I, I don't know. You hear a lot of stuff. Yeah, you hear a lot of stuff. Yeah. You probably heard it from CBS, didn't you? CBS. Yeah, you heard a lot of stuff. We're in the CBS, speaking of them, we're in the CBS family. That's what we call it, the yeah. CBS family. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's right. Appla applaud that. You don't, you don't even know what it is. It's the CBS family. It's like the mafia is a family. We are, and that's what yeah. they call it. And when, when there's new shows and stuff on, I always go, welcome to the CBS family. I can say that now because I've been on a show for like nine years. So is I can that go, how long that show's been on? Yeah, we're yeah, going into nine. Wow. Yeah. See, when you were... Yeah, that's good. Yay! And it's like... The number one show in the history of television, or something. Appear, it, it, you know what? Actually, today there was a, the poll came out and said it was it was voted what, was a, the favorite show of like all times now. It was favorite really show weird. of all time. That was a Harris poll, yeah. But it, yeah. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Ooh la la. What is this? <laughs> what was that? Oh I don't yeah. Know, I'm just doing. What tattoos? I just thought that looked cool. Yeah, no, it does look cool, doesn't it? Yeah, but you know, it, it's a poll, but yeah, they were, it's cool. Look at that. People will think we're cool, maybe. No, 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 no. <laughs> they'll think that you're cool, but they'll just think, oh, what is that cool girl doing with grandpa? Wait, is my grandpa here? Yeah, your grandpa's here. <laughs> oh, no. Your grandpa and the CBS family. <laughs> Hello, Polly. It's the CBS It grandpa. wasn't me. It wasn't me. Here to grant your wish. <laughs> No, yeah, so we're in our season finale right now. we got two more left. We had one last night, and there's two more, and it's crazy. Did I see you in a commercial for something, too? I saw you in a commercial for something. What was it? The travel? Did Expedia, I... your Expedia. sponsor. <laughs> <laughs> Did you know that? I think they sponsored it. So I don't a know. A fine product, too, I might say. <laughs> I did. I just was. I just noticed that. I'm like, well, that's convenient. Yeah, no, that's awesome. You, you know me. I, I, whenever I've got a headache, to Expedia, and I'm right as rain. Totally. I agree. <laughs> no, I actually, <laughs> I actually came up in in the in the early days when I, when I thought I was supposed to be a criminal science sociology uh, psychology person, which I majored in, and then all of a sudden I ended up being an actor. But Who I plays a criminal. Oh, and that's yeah, crazy. Yeah. Yeah. But I used to, I used to do commercials and music videos all the time, and then right. and then the, then it was kind of fun to go back and like do that again. Yeah, they're fun. It's good. Yeah, fun. Yeah. And by fun, you mean financially lucrative. <laughs> No, that was, it was, it was, I completely did it for free. Sorry, Grandpa. No, I just <laughs> Hey, have you got your plot picked out for when you die? John was here and he was saying that he has his plot picked out for when he dies. Can I just tell you how much I love John Waters? Yeah, John Waters is awesome. I love John Waters. Do you know that too. I actually have known him longer than I've known you, which is a no really way. long time. You we go way, way back. Way back, way back. Way back. Way back to both of us before we had tattoos. True. Exactly true. That's true. I know. Yes. But 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 yes, and and we both used to be in bands and stuff. But then we were on. I played Joe Carey's girlfriend, and he played Joe Carey's spouse. girlfriend. I actually, I played his husband. You did? Yeah, we were the first uh, gay marriage on television on the Drew Carey show. Is that that's not true? Ah, uh, it's true. Is it true? Yeah, yeah, we got married. Go from Craig. Yeah, yeah. No, to be fair. And Drew, we love Drew. Uh, to to be fair, uh, neither Drew or I uh, or the or the characters were gay, but it was a plot line. Then, okay. Then, so it was a not gay gay marriage first time one time. Hey, don't judge, all right? Don't <laughs> judge. Um, okay, were you just making fun of me about asking you to take a picture and tweet it? You did. I heard you. I was standing no, right no, there. No, I wasn't. No. Okay. No, no. Did he? Want to do that? No, no. I didn't okay. Do that. I no. couldn't really hear what you said, actually. No. Yeah. Not that I don't cling on to your every word, Craig. It you said cling on, and it's me the fourth, which is not that Star Trek, not Star Wars. Huh? <laughs> that would have been awesome if that wasn't wrong. <laughs> It was so awesome. You know, anyway. it's May the Fourth. It's May the Fourth today. I, it was I a really Star Wars that. Day. May the Fourth be with you. Didn't you know that? No, but I got. <laughs> I now I get it because I got tweeted that several times today, and yeah, now yeah. I understand that. You, I follow you on the Tweety. Do you? Yeah, yeah. Well, I so, I, yeah. yeah, I've been I've been tweeting about you too. See, I wanted to take a picture. I thought it'd be really funny, and then like tweet it right from here. But then, did you poo poo that? Or, no, I didn't poo poo. Can you say poo poo? Yeah, I think you can say poo poo. Censored. Yeah, uh, poo poo. <laughs> you can say poo poo. Well, that's great news. Poo poo. Can we do it?
No, right, I we'll mean, take like, a picture then. Like, you know, kebab, I see you whatever. have a phone made by a manufacturer. No, 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 mine's all blocked off. Oh, it is? All right. So if you don't say Ooh, it, you no one... one of the new Expedia phones. <laughs> Okay, ready? You can you do it. All right. You yeah, have longer I'll do arms. It. All okay, right. okay, very you ready? Good. Yeah, but okay, now. Yeah, you look cute and I just look no, weird. No, you have to turn yeah. the thing on. Yeah, I know. But yeah, you look You so gotta cute. push the button. I'm pushing it. Push it. I'm making you wait, I'm teasing you. All right, come on. Awesome. All right, there you go. Now you tweet that. Okay. And then I'll retweet it, and then it'll be seen by upwards of 40 people. <laughs> You think? Four zero, yep, I'm saying it. That's so cool. I know, I know. Forty people. I think I think that we have about forty people watching CIS. Actually. No, I think about forty million. Oh, there's more zeros. Yeah, oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> People love the NCIS. You know, it's the greatest show on TV apart from the show you like. No, you know what? I'm trying to make friends after John did yes. all that religion no, but stuff. I love TV. Yeah, I know. And, but you know what? I love me the John, and I'm a church kid, but, and it's all good. Cause You're a church goer, aren't you? Yes, yes. Remember last time I told you I was here on Easter, right after you got married? Yeah. One time, and I was... I, 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 what do you mean, one time? <laughs> no, no. One time when I was here. And I, I brought you a flower, and you were like, where'd you get it? And I said, I took it from church. And you were like, you're not supposed to steal the flowers from church. Oh, that's right. And I was like, oops. But do you, you waited to the day after Mother's Day to steal them from the graves. That's what Divine I didn't. Do. I didn't. No, I didn't steal. I love the yeah, Divine. Oh, John yeah. Waters. What an honor to be here with you and John no, at the same he's, time. He's lovely, John, isn't yes, he? Yes, he is. Yeah. He's gone now, though. Yeah, he is. He has to. He is. He had to go to a book signing, like. Pronto. Yeah, no, he's he's very busy all the time. Yes. You know, you can't you can't mess around. You snooze, you lose with John. Yeah, no, but no one's snoozing with John. Who snoozes with John Waters around? Not the people that write letters. Let me assure you of that. <laughs> it's always well, a big day the next day when John comes to visit. <laughs> anyway, uh, we're out of time. Oh, look, now. Awkward pause look. or oh, what? Oh, they're great baseball Can boots. Are they this? Expedia? No. Here, I'll cover that up. But look at my shoe. NCIS. I have that's NCIS awesome. shoes on. Yo, that's great. Oh, sorry. <laughs> oh, good. Steady, huh? oh, my God. You almost got my foot in your mouth for once. <laughs> Do you, want, uh, do you want an awkward pause or a mouth organ? I want an awkward pause. Oh, you do? Yeah. <laughs> well, totally. okay. I mean, I'll, I'll clap. Hmm? I'll clap if you play, but that no, doesn't no, count. No, 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 no. If you want an awkward pause, you shall have an awkward pause. Okay. This is great. Wait, wait, wait. That's not a pause. I know I interrupted a pause with a... Well, then in that case, you have to try the most difficult awkward pause of all. Smell my finger awkward pause. Watching Craig at home, you're missing half the fun. Consider this your formal invitation to laugh live in our studio audience at a taping of The Late Late Show with Craig Ferguson. Please give us a call at 323-570-0059 or visit our website at oneiota.com. May the force be with you. <laughs> and I am your father.